Hello and uh, welcome to part two of my uh, linear actuator robot. Uh, I've been busy this week and you can see that uh, we have these two new linear actuators. So this is uh, uh, the new unit which I've um, uh, put together. Um, as you can see uh, it's got uh, a universal joint here. Uh, it's got a pivot joint here. Uh, and it has the normal kind of lever mechanism which we used with the first linear actuator here. Uh, there are two actuators involved and uh, they allow uh, differential movement here and here which enable this to pivot and if they're moved together they cause movement in this plane. This is held fixed. And clipping it over. Okay. What should happen is that uh, the leg should uh, angulate. There we go. Ah, and back the other way. Uh, hopefully that's demonstrated quite well there. Um, and putting the leg down again. Uh, if we change um, the wiring here, so instead of uh, if we go if we go uh, plus to minus, minus to plus, uh, this means that uh, the um, uh, uh, the motions of these will antagonize each other. Then we should now, again, uh, if you just focus on the joint here, uh, you'll see that, the, uh, I'll just hold this still so that this lower joint doesn't move, you should see that the hip now articulates. And if we flip it over, the other way. 